Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We ride And it is only the second game in the group phase, but already this is crunch time for some, certainly those who have suffered defeat in their opening game. The prospect of an early exit already hangs above their heads. The players and managers have to put a brave face on it in the pre-match press conference, but that is not going to change the overwhelming truth here, and that is that they really must seek to avoid defeat. front of us this gloriously imposing arena absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature and we rise now for the English national anthem They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem, now to match it. Algeria faced here with what can already be a make-or-break game. Yeah, Peter, I think it's true that another defeat could spell curtains, but as a, a glass-half-full person, hopes and dreams are still intact, and this can be the start of a revival that the doubters are not quite expecting. Their motivation can be taken from a wish to shove it back down their throats. Got things on the way. Duquera. Halish. Duquera tries to get it forward quickly. Over to the left. Aimed in towards the centre. And he's there to clear it. Gerard. Forward it goes. Finds himself eased off the ball. Looking to break out here. Gets wrestled off the ball. Lampard. Lennon. Gets it back. He's got options out wide. Keeps everyone guessing. Hoists it forward. Nicely measured pass. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Well, it's very much the start we expected. There is a sizable gulf in quality between the two sides. Looks to clip it forward. Tries to get it clear. Milner.
Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. And it's played forward. Well, the fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. That's gone a long way up and away. Oh, whistle's gone. Now then. No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. And he's going to Rex. this time but I'm sure he'll go again Ashley Cole hoists it forward plays it out to the flank here's the delivery he's there to get rid That's been leave it clear. Tries to get it forward quickly. Lennon. Trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Looks into a dangerous position. Very well to intervene. Halish. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Dinks one in. Fence has got rid of that. And it's hoisted clear. Tries to get it forward quickly. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Good save, he got a decent fist on that. And he just wipes it away. That's offside, yes it is. Change. Lovely bit of skill there. Shot a goal! Oh, denied brilliantly! Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Knocks it away. Out for a throw. And it's got through. 
And he's there to clear it. Breaks on here. Hoists it forward. Bukera. Lennon. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Halish. Bugera. Into the final five minutes of the first half. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Rooney. Gerard. Milner. Lampard. Played out to the right. And it's played forward. Chance to break. Looking to get within range. And the keeper's in command. And there is the half-time whistle. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Algeria have been playing relatively well from what I've witnessed good movement and the ball retention has been quite strong and it's led to a few chances it's just that cutting edge that's lacking at the moment and it's fixable well, after 45 minutes it is still goalless a change perhaps after half time so we're just settling back into this second half nil nil then and we're back on the way It's anyone's ball. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. variety a oh, great ball has a hit he scores the second half sparks straight into life no space no problem you just cannot stop him well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. England get themselves into the lead. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. Plays it out to the wing. And that has been cleared. Ball glued to his feet. Yeah. 
He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Gorgeous control there. And that's been well dealt with. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. And the weighted pass. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the stats are pretty telling here. It's hard to argue with the scoreline when you carry so little threat. Out to the left it goes. In towards the mid Massive leap! Good delivery, but no joy. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Lennon, Lampard, Gerard, pumps it into the area, tries to get it clear, good spell of possession this, but very little to show for it. Halish, forward it goes. Over to the left. Oh, real danger here. Really good feet. Looks to dink one in. Chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. That's what has to be done now. No question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Gerard hoists it forward. Lampard to foe. England are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. He's got away. Algeria claiming a corner. And the referee concurs. They've played it short. It's a loose ball. Crosses it in, knocks it away. Algeria are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Drives it towards the front. That will annoy the manager. They're making themselves too predictable here. Tries a shot! 
A real chance and a real let-off. Algeria were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. Algeria making another change here. Tries to locate someone up front. Rooney. Algeria are looking desperate here, short on time and options. Look, their path is set. They have to take risks in every situation now. Let down by a lack of accuracy. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Pulls it over to the other flank. left. Crossed in. The referee's awarded a free kick. Well, some players have clearly taken issue here and things are threatening to boil over. Guerra. It really is now or never. They need a goal, however it comes. Algeria have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Oh, good interception. time is up and there goes the whistle so it ends 1-0 an enthralling game and an agonizing our hearts beat well, no shortage of to the city streets we began to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night